And the New England Patriots might be just one win away from heading to this year's Super Bowl. That's right, Marianne. But, you know, their former teammate, Aaron Hernandez, is not going to be able to root for them as they face off against the Broncos today. Authorities say Hernandez will not have access to a TV from his jail cell during that championship game. The former Patriots tight end is awaiting trial in Massachusetts for first-degree murder and the death of his friend, Auden Lloyd. Pot may be legal in Colorado, but Bill Belichick is saying no pot for his pats. The coach reportedly told his team, stay away from the legal marijuana in Denver. According to the New England Sports Network, running back LeGarrette Blount confirmed Belichick told the team, basically, don't go out there and be stupid. Marijuana is legal for recreational use in Colorado, but it is still a banned substance in the NFL. And now while it's the Broncos versus the Patriots, a lot of people are putting the focus on the team's quarterbacks, of course. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, the two most experienced throwers in the league. Now Fox Sports insider Alex Marvez makes an interesting point about the decisive game between the two future Hall of Famers. But it's going to be that debate. Who was the greatest quarterback amongst the two while they play? And that's why I think it's so important when they meet head-to-head, -head, who ends up winning, even though they never actually face each other on the field. It's Manning and Brady against the other team's defense. All right, this will be the 14th meeting between Manning and Brady. Now, Brady has the edge with nine wins and four losses. Well, of course, joining us this morning to further break down this much-anticipated game is our go-to gal, our Ravens blogger, Sweet Sarita <laughs> Hubbard. You like that nickname? I love it. All right. Well, everyone says, are they the same? Are they different? What's your take on these two dudes? They're the same as far as what they've done and what they've accomplished in the NFL in terms of, you know, records and things of yeah. such. Brady was the one that had the record 50 touchdowns in 2007, and then Manning turned around and he had 55 this year, and he mm -hmm. broke Brady's record. So they're both great quarterbacks. They're both going to be first ballot Hall of Famers, no doubt. But Brady has the edge because Brady has gone to five Super Bowls, won three of them, and Peyton Manning has only one Super Bowl ring. So they're still elite quarterbacks they're still the same guy you can pick Manny you can pick Brady it's a crapshoot but ultimately some people will say Brady's just a little bit better because he has the hardware to back it up now do you think that uh, Peyton's uh, jinx will be broken today and that he will actually overcome all of this and beat Brady uh, well I think that he will win today uh, mm -hmm. what happens in two weeks I don't know oh. but I do think that the Broncos have a better chance of winning today they have a lot of offensive weapons and the Patriots are really hurting defensively particularly in their secondary and so I think that the Broncos can pull this one out do you think it'll be as close a game as you know we're saying hey this is a major battle and all that do you think it's gonna be a uh, down to the last few seconds or last minute maybe it definitely has the potential because the Patriots can score points too and now they found a way to run the football we've known them to be a passing team you know one of those finesse teams but they show that they can grind it out too LeGarrette Blount is having a really good postseason and he had four touchdowns I believe last week so they can run the football as well which could be a problem for Denver that's the other thing we hear that both teams not really known for their defense do you think uh, they're gonna rise to the occasion I think that Denver has a better chance to rise to the occasion, even with the loss of Chris Harris, which was huge for their secondary. But defensively, New England just has a lot of missing holes. They lost Vince Wilfork a long time ago, and now they've lost Jared Mayo, Brandon Spikes. They just don't look as good health-wise on their side of the ball than the Broncos do. Do you think Bilicek is the guru that everyone's saying, you know, he's good, because of Bilicek that they could have a, a make a difference today? With Absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, he is the difference outside of Tom Brady. I think defensively we keep saying that the Patriots can't be as good because they've lost all these pieces and every week a new guy comes in and steps up. They had a great linebacker last week. I can't even tell you his name because I didn't know he existed until last week. He came in and showed up and he just knows how to get guys that you never heard of to be an intricate processor to what he's doing. All right, we heard and the Super Bowl prediction is? I have Denver and San Francisco. You heard it from Sweet Sarita here <laughs> first. We'll have you back, of course, to check in with you. Thanks a lot. Well, the Patriots take on the Broncos in Denver this afternoon. Kickoff 3 o'clock. Winner advances to the Super Bowl. And they'll take on the NFC champions. You can watch the 49ers Seahawks game right here. Fox 45 tonight. Coverage begins at 6 o'clock. Kickoff is set for 6.30 after the game. Keep it, of course, here on Fox 45. The half-hour wrap-up show 
The OT then comes on at 10.30. Then there's a new episode of the Fox Hit, the following. Hope you followed all that. Followed by Fox 45 News. Of course, this is all leading up to the big game, which you'll find right here on Fox 45. Super Bowl, February 2nd, also Groundhog Day. Two weeks from today, Super Bowl coverage starts at 6 that evening.